Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here and today we are going to do a beautiful designer look nails. You can have a wee preview of them in here. Yeah, I love this kind of style and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial as well. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday, sometimes extra if we've got some time. And I hope you will really enjoy it. Let's start! So beautiful, so the bee is 300 and I will show you how to recreate this look uh, of those designer Gucci uh, nails. I hope you will really enjoy it. If you do, hit the share button and don't forget to subscribe guys as well. Please keep me motivated. So I've got my tips ready in here and we will start on the middle one. We will do exactly the same design as uh, I have done it here on the thumbnail. So to achieve this look, we are going to pick up some color plus in red. On my mixing palette, I'm actually going to take enough so I've got for all the tips. And then painted red line. So the right, red line is going to be slightly thicker than the green. Okay, now important part of this uh, painting is that we need to have like a wee triangle shape at the end. So I'm just start doing those triangle shape now. And once I have put the biggest bulk of the color, I'm going to swap to the D-liner brush to perfect those lines. It's a pretty time-consuming set, but I think it's definitely worth it, the final results. It would be very easy to paint the triangle if we would have uh, one color, but because we have to use three colors, it's a little bit more difficult. So just take your time. Okay, and then imagine there's going to be green and green in there. So I'm just checking the proportion and if I'm happy, I'm going to give it a cure. This new is a little bit easier because we are going to uh, maybe I will do it. No, I will just go it the same like the pinky. So red line. And I'm using the watercolor um, Neil Perfect brush to get those uh, thicker lines. And then swap to the D-liner brush just to perfect it.
And then once I'm happy with it, I can give it a cure. Just quickly going to do the same in here. I really don't want to rush this design because um, I really like those nails and I want them to be nice and pretty, like really pretty. <laughs> and like with any kind of design, the more time we spend on it, the prettier it is. And then the other side. So you can see I'm kind of lying my brush. I don't paint with the tip of my brush, but I do lie my brush to achieve those straight lines. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to give it a cure. Okay, let's go back to the middle finger. So now we need to paint some green. And I'm just going to clean my brush. I use for the gels, I use the UV cleanser. UV cleanser is a very gentle product, uh, which doesn't remove the shine from your top coat and is perfect for cleaning the brushes. Uh, like blue scrap would be a very harsh product on your brush. UV cleanser is a nice and gentle product. So I can easily clean my brushes with it without of causing the damage. And then color plus in blue and color plus in yellow to create our green. So I'm just picking up a small scoop of the yellow. And small scoop of the blue. And just mixing it to achieve the green. So the Color Plus uh, gels work like uh, inks in a printers, mm, the way like with uh, those basic colors, uh, you can create any kind of color you like. Okay, so I've got a nice shade of green. And now we can part, paint the next part of the design. Just let me close that so the sun doesn't hit it. Again, going for the watercolor brush. Because I had some red on it, red is really highly pigmented. I'm going to pick up those green and clean it in there. So I like to clean my pr uh, brush with the product I'm going to use it, just to make sure we get rid of all those redness in the brush. See, red takes ages to come off from the brush. Never clean the brush like this way. So you can see it, I'm kind of rolling my brushes, so they always got a nice shape to them. Okay, pick up the uh, green. And now paint the other parts of the nail in green. Now the thing we need to remember, we want those triangle shape. Okay, so I'm swapping to the D-liner brush. Okay, 
and from the red in here I'm just painting the triangle in green. Okay, you can clearly see I'm missing some red to get a nice shape of it. And then give it a cure. Okay, this one much easier, so just pick up the green. And since we've got this red line, painting is a bit easier. And then give it a cure. Same on this one. Trying to don't go over the red because it will create kind of brownish color. If it does happen, you can just use some clean brush um, with the UV cleanser and remove it. And then give it a cure. Okay, on the black one, we uh, on the middle finger, we are going to do the black detail as well. I'm just going to perfect those green and red. And then take a black. So for black we are going to use the 183, which is black ink. And 
I'm just painting the entire tip black. So go pretty close, but uh, without of touching, because we wouldn't be able to precisely paint with such a large, large brush. Well, maybe we could. I'm not trying to risk it actually. So I'm only applying the black to the free edge and then clean my D-liner brush, put a drop of the black on the mixing palette and then perfect the triangle shape. I really like this black because it has a great coverage even in a one coat over the white. Now that we perfect that triangle, and then once I'm happy, I'm going to give it a cure. <clears throat> okay, clean my brushes quickly. And then on the two fingers, so this one is ready, we are going to stick some um, studs, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to use the logo mixed box and the base gel. So a drop of the base gel on my mixing palette. and then pick up the logo. So I just took out a few, but they're actually quite nice because you've got so many different ones in there. Uh, so they're really cool. And now I want to use them, but at the same time, I want to bend them a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take a brush and just squeeze them on top of the brush. So you can see this one is already bended. Same on this one. So I'm just squeezing it a little bit so they bend it. So basically this way they are um, flatter on the needle. You can see it guys like they are flatter on the needle and nothing is sticking out. It would be very annoying for a clients to have sticking out parts on their nails. Oh gosh, I've got there something. Old brush. So I'm just picking up the scoop of the base gel. And then the logo. So I need to turn it the correct way and then stick it on the nail. Okay, and that lies nice and flat to the nail. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to cut it. Do the same in here. And then the fun part on the middle finger with painting the bee. another one and now I'm going to apply the top coat so uh, high shine no wipe top gel through the entire tip And then give it a cure. 
on this one we are going to paint some black detail. So just like a wee black line. Okay, try to don't touch the gold suit because it's not going to look nice. Then when I'm happy, I'm going to give it a cure. Same, quickly same on this one and basically they will be finished. So we go around this toot. Like when you're painting with the gel polish, make sure you do not apply it too thick. Uh, otherwise, if you apply it too thick, it may wrinkle. Perfect. And then pop it inside the lamp. Okay, our middle finger is ready for the design. So I'm just going to buff the top coat. And the reason for it is we want the pigment, chrome pigment, to be applied in there. And what will happen is if I take a pigment... So if I take a pigment, it will uh, wrap into the top coat and I really don't want that, um, like this pigment to stick in in there. So I'm just going to buff it and give it nice buff. So it's not going to stick into the high shine no wipe top gel. Like making sure there is no shiny places left. Yes, you could use matte top coat. feel like I want those nice texture in there. Uh, I want the nails to be really extremely smooth and uh, matte top coats are slightly thicker in the consistency so I'm, I'm never 100% happy with the look of it. And also by buffing the top coat I'm kind of thinning out the tip as well because uh, I like those nice and thin looks. Okay, so Clean it well. Clean the entire tip and let's do the design. Could actually do the AR. So for this part, we are going to use the foil design gel. I'm going to just pick up a drop of it and we will paint the bee. Okay, so drop of it, to actually two drops. Clean my brush, why? Like I don't want to have a bulk of the product on my brush. If, if you've got too much product, the brush doesn't behave nicely. So now we are going to paint the head first. So nice rounded head. Okay, after we have painted the head, the first part of the body. And look, I've got product only at the tip of my brush. Okay, after we have painted that, this part is the hardest. So take your time. and paint the entire B body. And really take your time.
Okay. Then keep it a couple lines inside. Just so this red is visible in there as well. Okay, pair of the legs. Pair of the legs. Another one on the front. And another one. Antennas. And then the wings. So the wings are coming here. Like do the line first going like this. Okay, line like this. So this way you know where you want your wings. And once you've got this line, you can start thickening it up. So like make it bigger and thicker. It can go over the black as well. Okay, one wing, or maybe bigger, make it bigger, why not? And then the second wing, so look what I'm doing. I've got those shape there. And I'm just really thickening it up. I think I'm going to make this uh, black line neater. I don't like it. Okay, so the wings are painted. And now I can give it a cure. So I'm going to really over cure my foil design gel. And I'm going to quickly explain that. When we're working with the foil design gel, where are you here? It is great for transferring a transfer foil, but I'm not talking about the patterns transfer foil, just like a plain, plain gold, plain silver, rose gold, um, those kind of colors. You want to cure the foil design gel on a low heat mode or like a slow curing settings for 30 seconds. And that gives you a really nice adhesion of the transfer foil to the foil design gel. It has a little bit inhibition layer. If you would use some product which has lots of inhibition layer, which is very slidey, it's not going to transfer the transfer foil well. That's why I like to use the foil design gel. So 30 seconds cure. If you're using an UV lamp, which basically most of the people don't use it anymore. Everyone is LED. Um, so uh, then you would cure two minutes and that gives you a perfect coverage uh, as well. Um, if you want to work like for a full coverage with the patterns, the transfer foil design gel is perfect for that. But this one is for patterns. So like I could easily do it uh, this pattern with the transfer foil as well using this gel. But we are going to use the chrome. And for chrome, you have to overcook it. So it works opposite way because chrome sticks in only to um, no no sticky layer. Uh, so I'm just going to overcook it, which means two minutes cure. Okay, so if you fully cured on a full mode, two minutes this product, it will take chromes really well. When this needle is finished, so I'm just going to apply the top coat and that gives me a time to cure the other needles. Now on the gold studs, I'm just applying the top coat over it. Um, it is a kind of metal and some of the metals are dyed. This one is actually okay because I had it. Uh, so it doesn't change color, but I have had some rose gold pieces here and I'm not happy because it did change the color. Uh, so some of them are better, some of them are worse quality. Um, but anyway, I suggest you put the top coat over it. Actually, I need to test it in the chemicals to see if they are going to change the color. Let me quickly do it for you guys. I had it the designer set um, done with those studs and they were absolutely fine. So now that's a blue scrap and blue scrap is like an, um, there is, it's a really strong cleansing product uh, for our nail plate. So I have just pureed this blue scrap in there to see if this will change color. For a comparison, if I can get the axis, I cannot get the axis in there. I'm going to check for you guys the studs which I've got on my hands. I have hided them in the drawer, so excuse. No, I'm not going to be able to reach it because we've got camera in there. Okay, 
no, they are on the top draw, Patrick, which means we will have to stop the video. Okay, let's let's stop the video. Okay, so you can guys see it like the color is still intact, so it the the it doesn't come off. Okay, so quickly the top coat on this one. And then we can wrap the pigment over our B and finish the middle nail. Perfect, cook it. Okay, now put this on the side and we are going to use, so the Schrom pigments are from Model 1s. Model 1s, I will give you the links guys in the description of the video as well. I quite like them, especially those gold and the rose gold one. And the B is ready. So I've got the B in here and I'm just picking up some gold pigment and to wrap this in there. Okay, so we can see it guys, it sticks in only to the place where we've got the foil design gel. Just going to remove any excess of the pigment, I don't want too much pigment uh, so it has those nicer look, more shiny look. And then let me quickly touch up those black because I'm not happy the way it looks. Like you can see the line is not nice and sharp. That's better. And this side is actually not bad. Yeah, so just leave it the way it is. Give it flash cure, so two seconds cure. And then apply the last logo stud in there. So I can show you the final results. Drop of the base gel. I actually love it, it looks so nice. Sunshine curing my top uh, base gel. And then the logo just on the bottom. Okay, place it in the right spot. Oh, well, sometimes it's better just leave it and don't touch it because we make the things worse instead of improving it. That's a good tip, guys, for you. And yeah, and then the top coat and I can show you the final result. So get rid of that, apply the top coat and I show you the finished look of the set. Look at this beautiful bee which we have created. I enjoy those kind of a uh, little bit more complicated designs uh, a lot. They, they are more time consuming. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are much more time consuming. I got some pigment in my black. That's it. Okay, cook it. And then let's see the final results. So a drop of the blue tack. I'm sticking in the tips. Uh, with the blue tuck. This one in there. This one in here. And then the last one, it just needs 10 seconds longer and then I can show you the next one. So nice and pretty. I will zoom it in like crazy. And then this one is ready too. The nicest one. <laughs> okay, and that's what we have created today.
So I show you zoomed in. You can see the beautiful bees. Bee, bee, yeah. I really actually like this set. So beautiful. And not over the top, so... Yeah, you have to hit the share button for me, guys. Pretty, pretty, please. And I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs. And bye for now.